Billy, personal branding is becoming a hot topic these days, especially your online presence is important. Recruiters or whoever you're meeting or sending resume, they will check your uh, LinkedIn activities, how you're presenting yourself. So what tips you have to people who are not used to personal branding or they are international students and they feel that it's not important for them. So what framework or what are your thoughts about personal, personal branding or building that online these days? Well, the first thing I'll say is that everyone has a personal brand, everyone. And the way in which you approach your personal brand matters because that's how you are perceived in the world. That's what people think of you. So the first thing I would say is what is the one word you want people to use to describe you? Mm -hmm. Figuring out what that one word is will help you design and define how you show up. Once you have that one word, there's many ways that you can help people understand why that one word represents who you are. Mm -hmm. So um, when you think about your personal brand, um, a lot of times people will remember you for what you say and, 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 and all the contributions you make, but most of all, they're going to remember how you make them feel. Yes. And the reason they may, they remember that is because um, we're an emotional creator, we emotional creatures, and, yes. and we naturally navigate to an emotional space. So as we're thinking about how we craft our resume, how we do uh, the LinkedIn profile and build the about section, um, my suggestion is to really think about what we want people to remember us on an emotional level. And so um, I'll give you a quick pointer on the about section. So when you think about the about section, which is part of your personal brand, um, it's really important that people can relate to you. And so I, I'm a big believer in being able to tell a story about ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I just interviewed somebody named Andy Enriquez and he talks about our signature story. Yes. So one of the things that stands out about our signature story is that most of us have some challenge in our life that we had to overcome where we realized that we needed to have a transition or a pivot point in our life. And people Correct. respond to stories about challenges that were overcame where there's a transition. And if you could tell that story yeah. in your about section, it will really resonate and connect with the people who read about you. And that could be an employer, it could be a business partner potentially, or it could be another type of opportunity, or it could even be a business client. So depending upon what you want to achieve, really be mindful of telling your story and you do it in your about section, you could do it on videos, you could do it in posts, you could do it in any number of ways. Yeah. But as you start to define your signature story, remember the power of being able to tap into the human emotion. Cause I think that's what's going to get people most connected to you as a human being. Yeah. And what's your personal brand, Billy? What do you stand for? Yeah. So for me, where it's, where it's developed into is I help people amplify their voice. So the, the word that I want people to think about is amplify. Mm -hmm. And the reason I want people to think about the word amplify is that we all have a story to share. We all have ideas. We all have things that we're, meant to do on this planet. We all have purpose. And my mission is to help to amplify the voices of people who want to make their mark on this planet, people that want to make a difference. <laughs> so I, I not only interview world changers and entrepreneurs and thought leaders on my podcast, I also help change agents and people that want to make a difference, build their own podcast. So my personal brand is all about lifting the voices of others and giving them a platform to shine. 